Hey everybody, welcome to HomeRecordingMadeEasy.com and on behalf of Studio One Expert, I want to welcome you to the Beginner's Guide to Learning PreSonus Studio One Version 3. These short videos are intended to help the absolute beginner, whether you're coming from a different DAW or whether this is your first experience with any digital audio workstation. These videos will help you get up and running in Studio One very quickly with no fuss and no muss. I'm, I'm going to assume that you know nothing about Studio One and this is the first time you've seen the program. So in this video, we're going to talk about the very beginning, we're going to talk about the start page in Studio One. So let's take a look at what we have going on here on the start page. So this happens to be the version Studio One Professional, as you can see at the top of the screen here. But regardless of the version of Studio One version three you're using, the start page is going to look exactly the same. So if we start from left to right, we're going to take a look at these three area, three tabs here at the top of the screen. So over here we have what's called the Create New Song um, link. And what that's going to do, that's going to create our new recording session. PreSonus calls it a song file. So we're going to create a new song as create a new session. And we're going to do that in future videos. Over in the middle here, we have create a new project. The new project is the mastering uh, project in Studio One. They call it a project. It's the mastering session. And then over to the right of that, we have open an existing document. So if you have other uh, PreSonus uh, documents that you were working on that are now located somewhere on your hard drive, you can get to them easily just by clicking this open an existing document link. Over here underneath towards the left, we have um, the recent files tab. This will be a list of all the files that you've opened recently. You can see I've had three song files opened uh, recently here in Studio One. And over time, this list is going to continue to grow and you're going to have a long list of stuff that you're going to be opening uh, from time to time. And if you ever want to just clear this list and get rid of all the clutter, all you have to do is just hover your cursor over this gray area here and just right click and go clear recent files and that will get rid of all the recent files. Um, if you have certain song files that are, happen to be open, they'll be under the songs tab and the mastering or the project files will be under the projects tabs. Right now I don't have any, so there's nothing in this list, but that's where they would reside. Over here in the center, we have the artist profile. This area here is where you can customize Studio One uh, to your liking. You can see here I have my uh, home recording made easy.com logo here. If you wanted to put a picture of yourself or a picture of your uh, a JPEG or a, a, a logo of your own, you can just go ahead and um, click this little uh, select image button and that'll go out to your hard drive and allow you to choose the photo of your choice and put it in this area here. If you want to get rid of this altogether, you're just going to click this X and it'll delete your logo or whatever photo you have in this section. If you click the SoundCloud tab, this is where you can link up your SoundCloud account to Studio One. So all your SoundCloud stats are going to be right here. This is really convenient. And we're also in later videos going to show you right from the song page how you can export and upload your finished mix to SoundCloud without ever having to leave Studio One, which is really cool. So as you can see, my Vision Recording Studio SoundCloud account is uh, is uh, linked up here with all the... Um, all the songs that I've mixed recently, and this is part of my uh, sound uh, profile portfolio. So per prospective clients can take a listen to my work and see if they want to, uh, they like what they hear, they want to hire me, they take a listen to the stuff on my SoundCloud page, and then all my SoundCloud stats are here as well. Okay, we can get back to the artist profile just by clicking this tab here. In the center here, we have uh, the setup where we set up our audio interface. Uh, your interface that's connected to your computer will be right here. And my mine happens to be a Universal Audio Apollo, and you can see it's set to 44.1 and 2048 samples, which we'll talk about in future videos. Um, if you want to configure your audio device to choose a different audio device or audio interface, you'd click, click on this link, configure audio device. That'll open up a preferences dialog box, and you can see here the audio device up at the top. And if you click this triangle over in the right hand side, you'll see all the audio interfaces that you have available to you on your system. I'm going to stick with the Universal Audio Apollo and I'm just going to cancel this. Okay. Now, if you want to hook up a MIDI controller or some kind of a MIDI device or some kind of an external device like a PreSonus fader port or a control surface or so on and so forth, you would click this configure externals devices. And again, it's going to bring up the preferences tab again, but this time we're going to be under the external devices uh, tab. And as you can see, I have my PreSonus fader port here uh, hooked up to my system and you can hook up in uh, a MIDI keyboard or MIDI, uh, MIDI type of controller. And again, we'll do all of that in future videos, but that's what uh, this section is for. So I'm just going to click cancel. Now to check for updates to make sure you have the latest version of Studio One, you can click this uh, check for updates link 
and it's going to go out to the internet and see if you have the latest update. And I do have the latest update, as you can see here. I have version 3.2. That's the installed version, and that is the current version that's available on presonus.com. Now, um, if you forget to check this this little link down here, and you want to know if there's an update, you know, there's a couple of ways that you could um, that Studio One will kind of notify you. One way is that it'll show you above this uh, Studio One logo here, it'll have in red text with a little exclamation point when there's an update available, it'll kind of warn you with a, you know, a little message saying there's an update available. So you'll just know that when you get to your start page that there is a new update, you can go ahead and, and click check for updates and it'll update the system for you automatically. The other way that you can look to see if there's an update is by looking at the news feed, which is over here on the right hand side. So over here, you'll see we have the news feed and in the news feed, this is really cool because as long as you're connected to the internet, anything that's kind of going on with Studio One and PreSonus, they always have add-ons and, and special deals and uh, all kinds of discounts on certain things, as well as information and updates right here in the news feed, which is really cool. So, for example, you can see on Friday, April 22nd, they had some new, uh, a new add-on um, here that you can go ahead and you can uh, check out and you can download to Studio One if you choose to. You could see they had some 30% off some drum loops uh, about a week ago. And then right down here, you can see there was a 3.2 available now, which was the new update that came out um, a week or two ago. Um, and it's right here. So on February 25th, 2016, uh, you, you click on this and it will go ahead and it will... Um, update your system automatically. So that's really cool. So you can see this is a free update for Studio One version three owners with tons of new features, so on and so forth. You just click on that here. So the news feed is a really great thing because you can stay up to date with what's going on with Studio One and the PreSonus community, which is awesome. Right next to the news feed, you have the demos and tutorials. Now, when you download uh, PreSonus Studio One from the PreSonus.com website under your user profile, there is a section for um, for downloading um, extra content that's uh, that gets included with PreSona Studio One. And one of those things is demo videos and tutorials that some third-party developers had developed, like yours truly, David, from uh, homerecordingmadeeasy.com, as well as some stuff from uh, PreSonas themselves. So if you want some training videos and some training content that is uh, more than likely free of charge, uh, it'll be under your user profile on the PreSonas.com website, and you can download it, and it'll end up in the demos and tutorials section of your news feed here. Okay, so that's kind of the lay of the land. Um, up in the top right hand corner, we have three buttons up here. We have the start button, which is the start page that we're looking at now. We have the song button, which if I click on that, you'll see that um, one of my songs that I have open here, one of my Studio One sessions opens up. That's the current one that's open. And if there were multiple ones open, if I click on this little triangle, it would give me a list of all the different song files that are open. So I can just navigate between one song file and another, which is really cool. And to get back to the start page, you just click the start button and it brings us right back to the start page. And then finally, we have the project button. If we had a project open, we could do the same thing like clicking on the start on the song button. We click on project and the, and the mastering page would open. Because we don't have one open at this time, it's going to automatically ask us to create a new project because it doesn't see one open. Okay, so I'm just going to click cancel. So that is kind of the lay of the land of the start page. So uh, why don't you guys come back for the next video and we're going to move on and go to the next uh, the next stage of this uh, beginner series. Again, be sure to always check back to StudioOneExpert.com and HomeRecordingMadeEasy.com as we're going to be adding more videos to this series in the future. So until the next video, this has been David with HomeRecordingMadeEasy.com and I will speak to you all soon. Take care.